Hey, it's Teresa with My Lice Advice, and today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to clean your bed after lice. Before getting started, just so you know who I am, my name's Teresa with MyLiceAdvice.com, and I'm a registered nurse, and I actually specialize in head lice. And if you're in the process of cleaning your house after lice, I have a room by room house cleaning checklist that is completely free, and I will put a link for that in the description below. I'm gonna divide this video into the four main parts of cleaning your bed after lice. First, you have all of your bed linens, like your blankets, sheets, and pillowcases, then the pillows themselves, your mattress, and last, the headboard. In this video, I will not be recommending any lice sprays, and the reason for that is because they don't work. In all of the recent studies, 98 to 99% of lice are resistant or immune to the pesticides that are in those lice sprays. So I won't be recommending any of those, mainly because they don't work. First, your bed linens. Your bed linens are gonna include your sheets, your pillowcases, and even your blanket. Anything that can fit in the dryer. Now you'll notice I said the dryer, not the washing machine. Lice can hold their breath in water for more than 24 hours. So a lot of people think that if they put stuff in the washing machine, that's gonna kill lice. It's not. It's also not going to wash them off because lice have these claw-like grips and they can hold on to that bed linen no problem. So it needs to go into the dryer because high heat kills lice. The temperature needs to be at least 140 degrees Fahrenheit to kill lice. So it's important that you put it on the highest heat setting, put everything in there and let it run for 40 minutes. It really doesn't matter whether or not you wash the linen ahead of time, because like I said, that's not gonna do anything to kill the lice. The important part is the high heat. The exception here would be if you have a sanitize cycle on your washing machine. Now, if you have some kind of bedspread that can't go through the dryer, then you have another option, and that is to just bag it up and not use it for 48 hours. I know it sounds gross, but lice actually suck your blood multiple times a day. And if they can't, then they quickly die. And in every study that's ever been out there, lice die within 48 hours of being off of a person's head. So if you have a fancy blanket or something like that that can't go through the dryer, just bagging it up and not using it for 48 hours. Next, your pillows. Now your pillows are pretty easy because you can just put them in the dryer on high heat for 40 minutes, just like you did with the bed linens. But again, if you have some kind of fancy pillow where you don't wanna put it in the dryer, you have two other options. One I've already talked about, which is where you can bag it up for 48 hours and not use it. Your other option is to use a sticky lint roller. You know the kind of thing that you would see people use for dog hair or something like that? Now with lice, you don't have to worry about them burrowing into things, like burrowing inside of your pillow or something like that. They aren't that kind of bug, so they would be on the outside of your pillow. So these sticky lint rollers, they pick up anything and everything. So if you just roll one of these sticky lint rollers all around your pillow, you will very easily pick up any lice bugs if there are any on your pillows. Next is your mattress. Like I said, lice don't burrow, so they're not gonna be going inside of your mattress. Anything would just be on the outside. And all you need to do is get one of these sticky lint rollers and roll it all over your mattress. You're probably gonna find a bunch of stuff on this sticky lint roller, but not very likely any lice bugs. And that's because, like I said, lice bugs just hang out on the surface of stuff, so it's not very likely that you're gonna pick up anything on your mattress because it would have been in your sheets. And same with your pillow. You're not gonna likely find anything on your pillow because lice would have been on the pillow case. So you just go over your mattress and your pillowcases with a sticky lint roller like this and you're good to go. Now, let me just reiterate here, do not use any lice sprays or any pesticides on your mattress. It's not going to do anything for you because lice are immune to all of those lice sprays. What it will do though, is make it so that you are breathing in those pesticides every night that you're sleeping. So instead just get a sticky lint roller and roll the mattress and that would take care of anything.
Before moving on to the last part of cleaning your bed, I wanna remind you that I have a full house cleaning checklist that goes through every room exactly what you should do, and there's a link for that in the description below. You can also find that on my website, mylifesadvice.com, which is where I have my step-by-step -step videos where I walk you through exactly how to get rid of lice in one treatment. Okay, the last part of the bed would be the headboard of the bed. If it is a cloth headboard, then you would do the same thing with a sticky lint roller. Just put a sticky lint roller over it. If any lice were on there, then you'll get them. But if you have something that's wood or metal or something like that, lice can't really crawl on that. They have claws that are very good at gripping things like hair, linens, things like that, but they can't grip onto metal or wood or anything like that. So you don't really need to clean any of your metal or any of your wood. If you really want to, then all you would need to do would just be to wipe it down with any old wet cloth. So if that's what you wanna do with your time, you're welcome to, but it's not really necessary. Let's do a quick review. Remember the bed linens, you're gonna put them in the dryer on high heat for 40 minutes. Water doesn't kill lice, but high heat does. And your pillows themselves, you can just rub those down with a sticky lint roller or you can bag them up for 48 hours. As well as your mattress, you can just have a sticky lint roller, clean it up that way, but do not put any pesticide sprays on your mattress because you'll just be breathing that in and it doesn't really kill lice anyway. And last, if you have a cloth headboard, you can just use a sticky lint roller for that as well because lice don't really climb on metal or wood. So no need to worry about that. And if you do have lice and you'd like some help, then head over to mylicedvice.com. There's loads of free resources there, including a free house cleaning checklist specific to head lice. So that's it for today. Be sure to like and subscribe below. And if you have a comment, feel free to leave a comment. And if you have discovered lice, then head over there and check out that step-by-step -step video system. I'll see you there.